Well, it's a Friday. It's going to be a red hot day. And I've got to go to this property where basically they want the shower on. All they care about is putting the shower on, get the shower on, because it's the only means of washing at the moment in that property because it's going through like a rewire. And originally, when we went to this property, it was just to put a new shower on, but the shower needed rewiring and the bathroom lights needed rewiring. And then we're doing the bedroom as well. So we did the sockets as well. So it escalated into a load of more work, but we've got to go in the loft. That'll be fun in this weather. And then in order to have a new shower and new lighting and new sockets, of course, we need a new fuse board. So it's one of them jobs and I'm a bit of a time limit because I need to get somewhere for six o'clock tonight. So we've got the whole day to get the board on, the shower done, and possibly the lights and the bonding. It's just so much to do. So let's get cracking. Obviously after taking the dog for a wonder, wherever he's bloody gone. And the thing about this property is two houses molded into one in effect it was two terrace houses so now it's one house so you can't just go up into the loft and route everything round you go up into one side to get the cables across from the board and then you go up into the other side to get it into the bathroom <sighs> what a palaver and the fuse board we're putting in this property is a fuse board that has got all this hype over the internet and everyone says it's fantastic and beautiful and brilliant. I've never put one in myself personally. So it'll be my first time today of putting this fuse board in. So I'm gonna let you know my opinion. It is nine minutes to eight, which I said I'd be there at eight o'clock. It's always a good idea to be punctual because one, you got plenty to do. And two, it keeps you in good stead for the customer. So straight into it. This is where the shower's gonna be connected up in there, which the shower's already on the wall because it had a six mil feed to it, but we needed to put a 10 mil in. We've stuck a few rods in, because what I'm trying to do is be in the loft for as least time as possible, because it is red hot in the house, let alone in the loft at the moment. So let me go up in the loft and I'll show you how it is two, two ounces basically. Ugh. Ugh. That is over there, as you can see. Oh, look, there's my shower bit coming up. But we've got an old fluorescent light in it. We're not even gonna use that. But yeah, so we've got to go through that wall as well for the shower cable. Right, that's my first stint in the loft. And I've got shower cables down, lighting cables, and then to the first light. So basically I'm gonna concentrate on getting well, the shower on, so let's get this on, get the board on, and then think about the lights later. Right, I thought to make my life easier, I'm gonna get one of these round crab tree, I think they are, isolators for the shower. 50 amp, bit better, but they are still hard to get in, I tell you. And make sure you get your cables right around. I've had to swing that. I could have pulled it off, swung it around, but it doesn't make a difference. Then now, I've gotta get my uh, <sighs> screw in there. So maybe twist it around a little bit. So then now we've got to rip this out. We're ready, the shower and that is all in, which I'll just show you that up here. What we've got is the shower on, the switch, so I can test over there and then test in there. I haven't got these lights in yet. I'm gonna leave them because I'm gonna concentrate on getting that board on so we can get the shower on and working and tidy up. But, we'll go down, back down here. So we're gonna make a start at ripping this out. These towels aren't too bad, but I'm gonna change them, get rid of that, put a new board up there and get our new cables down that hole. So ideally, knock the board off knock the isolator off. I'm gonna pull these towels out of here because obviously we don't have to cut the seals. Luckily, because the seal angel hasn't been to this property, so uh, we'll probably change that earth to be honest, make it a bit longer and neater if it's not. It looks quite big actually, but we'll just check it. Uh, yeah, so the seal angel hasn't been, so we can leave the seals on on this one, which is a rare occurrence, and leave them on and just change these and get rid of all that. But to prove it, 
I want to take this off first. Don't tell me it's Allen keys. Nope. Good, 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 good. Well, let's hang this on there. Right now. Take this off. We've got our little stairs to keep everything on. And this is dead as a door now. Am I correct? I am indeed. Yeah, glad we're going to change them. Get rid of that. What is that? A little bit of metal thing. And look, they went through that bit there. It's a little crap anyway. Yeah, so let's put that cover back on for now. One, so we don't lose it. And two... So, if any of the switches are isolated on, there's no live parts that I can touch. Just do one screw up and that one a little bit. Because this is the mains coming in to the head, looks spot on, nice and neat. And I'll just show you outside where it comes in. But this is where it comes in, overhead. Off the pylon into the property down here which is completely normal on a lot of places well you think that cable's been there a long time and it's still working are they old lead yes is that lead uh, yeah and that's an old earthing what the hell is that going anywhere Let's figure out what that is so now we know we're dead as a doornail let's whip it to bits So then now we're going to get the front of the cover off and see what it's like inside. It's filled up, doubled up, with ring mains in all sorts. So let's have a look. That's yeah, not too bad to be honest, eh? But they didn't want to put any sleeving on their Murphs. So the thing is, it's pretty much irrelevant because we're going to be rewiring a lot of this anyway we've got a new shower circuit coming we've got a new lighting circuit for upstairs and sockets for bedrooms so but we do want to utilize what we've got for now so the red and black will be a temporary supply and the new brown and black will be what's staying in here permanently all the new stuff I'll tell you what there's no point of unscrewing these. So I'm just gonna chop them off. Because I don't care what they are. Same oh. with these. No one cares. And what we're going to be installing is a Navitas board. I've never installed one of these, but I, you can't get better than that box. Look at that, that's cool as. Right, and then we'll get the box out. Let's have a little look inside, shall we? Right, and it's got the SPD with a fuse, and there's a reason for that. So if you go watch, oh, I think it's... Yeah, Navitas on YouTube, you'll find out why. Right. So then these look a bit fancy. That's a spare bag. That is the grommet strip, the knockout to the back, which we'll use. But what I'm interested in, look, let's get this off, is the bar. It's silver. All bars are normally copper. Anyone tell me, or Navitas, Will, if you're watching this, what is the advantage of a silver bar? But we can stick it in there. And look at this. All the SPDs in, ready to go. And we've got all these usable ways. And even with the tails clamp. I like them. I like using them. They help it a lot to hold it in place. I like these all numbered, nice and neat. Ah! 
little level on there as well. Nice, we'll be using that. But for now, I'm going to whip it all out so I can get the cables in. And this off. And then there with this. So basically, I can use these for knockouts. Look at that, little hanging screw as well. So you can get it on their level. Like the idea, like the idea. But I'm going to use both of these ones. So how easy do these come out? Oh, spot on. That's not too bad. And get these out and then put uh, the blanking bits in. So when the cables go through. Oh, I can use these. Danger Life Terminals, right, we'll find out where that goes. But yeah, with this as well, look, where the tails come in, you've got a decent sized hole for the knockouts. And you knock them in. I like knocking them in. There was a board that I did a little while ago where you knock them out. I ain't got a clue why. Why would you do that? You need to knock them in. It makes life easier. Right, so, these will fit in there. But for now, I'm going to uh, mark these out on that bit of wood that I'm mounting on for them to come through nice and neat. Right, so. If you like me and you think, oh, all these lighting circuits that you put in there, Temporary, mind you, they will be getting rewired at a later date. Why didn't they trip the RCD? Look, these RCDs, they work. But why didn't they trip? Because look at the state of it. It's all down here and that. It's just interesting to see what can get away with an RCD. But I found out exactly why the RCD is not tripping. Because it's got joint boxes everywhere. Look, joint, 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 joint. And I thought, well, what's in here? Like, is this really a good connection? Yeah, well, when you don't bother connecting the earth, of course the RCD's not going to work. <sighs> yeah, so that's why re we're... Yeah, so that is why we're rewiring the whole house. So my plan was to go to the loft and just... Rod every single light. Are you speaking to me? No, I'm speaking to the camera. Okay. <laughs> and then get that one down there, which it worked out. And this one should be... Oh, man. Come on. Yes, that one's worked out. Because <sighs> these are right down in the eave bit. Oh, mate. There's always one. Comes off the frigging rod. Well, what a day. I got the board in. Admittedly, I sort of threw it in because a lot of them circuits are temporary. I just wanted to make the shower and the lighting circuit in the bathroom RCD protected because that's the new circuits I've put in. And the rest of them, we will continue to do at a later date. But we've got it all on. We've got the lights in. We've got the shower on. We've got the bonding in. Red hot day, ready to go home. Over and out, have a good weekend guys.